Hello, grade three. This is Mr. Jeremy here to explain your extra practice homework for today, April 22nd. So tomorrow during our video lesson on Thursday, um, we may go over and check these uh, slides. Please finish by Friday, April 24th. So we will continue to practice um, how to write yes or no questions and yes or no answers about actions that happen at different times. Um, we will also continue to use the who words, we and you, in the questions and answers. So here is the list of who words with their verbs, has or have. And then um, we have learned that when we are talking or asking about an action that happened from the past and could happen until now, we use verb three with has or have. So make sure you look at this red list of verbs, or I should say list of red verbs, verb one, verb two, and verb three. So when the who word in the question is we, okay, then the who word in the answer is you. So if two people in the same group, for example, here we have a girl that we can call she, and here is Mr. Jeremy. So Mr. Jeremy calls Mr. Jeremy I. So if these two people are in the same group, she and I, we can call she and I, we, okay? So these two people, we, talking to this boy in the white shirt, okay, he's not part of the same group during this conversation. So again, we is Mr. Jeremy, calls Mr. Jeremy and another person or people we. So just put your name where you see Mr. Jeremy. So if your name is Zabao, it says Zabao calls Zabao and another person or people we. Okay, you, Mr. Jeremy calls one or more people I talk to or write to you. Or Zabao calls one or more people Zabao talks or writes to you. So when the who word in the question is you, the who word in the answer is we. So notice again, this boy in the white shirt, he's not part of the same group. These two people inside the yellow square are part of the same group. So these people call these people we, so she and I. So Greg calls Greg I, and Greg calls this girl, she. So she and I together is we. So if this boy asks, do you eat food? You is the who word about these two people, other people. And uh, these two people inside the yellow square answer, yes, we eat food. Or they can answer no, we don't eat food. That's an anytime question. So here is a new action. The action is go shopping. Here is the timeline. The who word in the question is you. Notice we have more than one you in this situation. Look at the yes or no symbol and look at the picture. Who is talking? Is it the same group talking to the same group? or is the group talking to a different person outside the group? So you will do that for this slide too. So notice anything different about the who word or the situation, the conversation. Here is number three, same thing. Number four and number five. So that extra practice, we, if we have time, we may go over tomorrow 
during our video lesson. I look forward to seeing everybody. Thank you.